Now there has been a change of plan. I was going to cover these things here in material, that, like just that space, but I tried it and I didn't like it and it didn't really finish off too well. The edges didn't finish really nicely. So I pulled it back off, I only did one. I pulled it back off, cleaned everything and I painted it. I finished painting now, so the whole inside of the van there has been painted and it's ready for the door trims or the trim covers to go back on down the bottom. The frame of the drawers has been put in. The holes have been drilled in the floor right there and over there and over there and over here to bolt the drawers down and that's all been painted there as well ready for the trims to go back in. So we're getting to the stage where we're putting everything back together now. I've cleaned and refitted all the taillights. I have restored the rear rubber door seal, which is like brand new. All the door jams have been repainted. Now this part here, the bumper bracket, was all rusty and has been repainted. The tow bar has been repainted. Everything's been fitted back on and we're about to put the bumper back on. Now as mentioned we are fitting a brand new rear bumper. This is brand new, I just took it out the packet. And I have cleaned and repainted the bumper brackets that attach it to the car. So everything has been repainted and restored. And this bumper, I didn't even buy it. I think I might have mentioned before, it did come with the van when I bought it because the existing bumper that was attached to it was damaged and the previous owner bought this and probably never got round to fitting it and sold it with the van. So we put this back on now and we've also got brand new sight panels that also came with the van and the brackets that hold them in place I have restored those. This has all been repainted and this is going back on the car now or on the van. The new bumper bar is back on now. The lighting's not great, but you should get the idea of what it looks like. I've still got to put the little plugs in here, but they're still being restored. Got the four wheel drive badge on there now. I have now finished building the actual platform and installed the drawers. So the drawers are now bolted down and I've covered all the top and material. So I did not reuse the tops of the drawers. I've just made up my own board as I mentioned in the other video. The actual old tops from the drawers are just sitting here in the corner for now gathering dust. I'm not sure what I'll do with those yet. Now the only thing that's left is to fill in these parts here. There's one on that side and one on that side. Or I might just leave them. I'm not 100% sure yet because I've got a towel in here which I can just access. So I might be able to just keep rags or whatever in there for easy access on that side and on that side. 
Now the drawers all open easily. I've just got a pillow in there at the moment and storing some other stuff. And these are lockable as well. And they run really well. I've just put all the other stuff for the van in here just so it's not floating around my workshop and so it's all in one place. Obviously that won't be staying there. Now, as you probably saw in my fridge video, if you watched that, if you haven't, I'll link that video down below for you. The fridge is sitting in its position where it's going to be. And I finished all the side panels. So there's a side panel there. And that one. And this one. Now the lighting in the workshop's not the best, so we just got to deal with it. So what I'm doing here, I'm building an extension to the bed frame and that fridge will be lifted up so that bed frame is going to extend out where that bottom board is and that fridge will actually be sitting on top of that giving me more storage space underneath and that's actually where the batteries are going to go and I've got the King's battery monitor here which I'm thinking of mounting in there in that panel once it's all done and if you recall on one of my other videos, I've got these Anderson plug power inputs for the solar. And I think I'll be mounting those there as well. So the solar blanket can just plug in there into this plug and charge up the batteries which will be under there. And this piece here will be filled in with plywood. And I haven't decided what sort of flooring I'm putting in there yet but I will be making up some sort of flooring on top of the plywood. So this is what it looks like now and I think I'll leave the video here because I don't like these videos getting too long and the next part will be building the cabinet for the batteries and the inverter and for the fridge to sit on which will go there. So in the next video you will probably see that cabinet there finished and then I will explain to you how this setup actually works and what my plan is. Keep an eye out for that next video once I get around to making it and once I get the time to build this final cabinet. In the meantime, if you've got any questions about anything at all that you've seen in today's video, leave your question down below and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.